Hello and welcome to this BuyBot Pro video. So today we're going to be taking a look at the detail section, which is one of the most important sections that you will come across in the software. So the detail section is where you find all of your number work. So all of the important stuff. So once you've gone ahead and analyzed, you will get accurate results in here. So let's take a look at everything that we can see in this section. So we'll have the ASIN and a new feature has been added to this whereby if you hover over the ASIN you get a lot more detail about the particular item that you're looking at. So product details, you can see the category, you can see the weight, you can see the dimensions in both centimeters and inches. You can see if Amazon have been selling the item in the last 90 days. You can see if Amazon are in the buy box currently. You can even see the model number and the package quantity as well. So you get a lot more detail about this item. ASIN stands for the Amazon Standard Identification Number. So this is Amazon's way of identifying products on their platform. You have the UPC, which is the Universal Product Code, and it's a barcode type that is recognized globally. Um, if there is one to be found, then it will appear in the section here, and you can copy that to your clipboard and paste that wherever you wish. You have the EAN, which is the European Article Number, and this is a barcode type that is also recognized globally. So again, the number will appear in here, and you can copy that to your clipboard and paste that wherever you need it. You can also see the brand of the item. Again, this is something that you can copy. Um, you can see the profit margin. So Buy What Pro is going to do the maths for you and tell you your profit margin. Um, you also need to make sure that you've entered in your buy price and sell price at the top of Buy what Pro. You can see the max sold price. So this is the highest FBA third party price this ASIN has been sold for over the last 365 days. You can see the max buy cost. So set your required ROI and profit in the criteria section of the Buy What Pro settings panel. And then Buy What Pro will tell you the maximum you can pay to purchase the product in order to meet that criteria. So this is quite useful information here. And um, if you were wondering how you get this information about each of these different parts of the detail section, all you need to do is hover over the title and it gives you this helpful little tool tip, which reminds you of what exactly this is that you're looking at. And you get that throughout BuyBot Pro. So hover over most things and it'll probably give you a tool tip for what that particular um, part of BuyBot Pro is. You can see your break even. So this is the price whereby if you sold for this price, you wouldn't be making a profit nor a loss. So this is kind of your last resort price that you want to sell for. So um, let's say you were repricing something and you've set your minimum and your maximum and you find that um, you really need to get rid of this stock. Um, you're desperately trying to get rid of this stock. And even if you go to a minimum price, it's just not working. Um, and as a last resort, you then need to move it down to your break even price. So if you sold for that price, um, you wouldn't be making a profit, but at least you're not making a loss in your business. So that's quite useful information to know. And then it will work out our total costs. And if you hover over the number here, it gives you a breakdown of everything involved in this. So this includes all of the Amazon fees, which it gets directly from the Amazon calculator. It doesn't just make this stuff up. It comes directly from the Amazon calculator itself. Um, if you have anything toggled on like the PAN or EFN um, toggle, and it will apply those fees in here as well. If you are um, enrolled in the European Fulfillment Network and you're fulfilling an item that way, um, you can see the VAT, you can see any prep fees or extra fees or shipping costs. And this is stuff that you can enter in into your BuyBot Pro settings. So it'll work it out based on what you've set in your settings and give you the total cost here. So it adds it all up for you. Um, and then you can take into account storage costs as well. So BuyBot Pro will automatically assume one month's worth of storage fees, but you can set it to zero. You can move the slider to assume a few months worth of storage fees. And obviously the longer you keep something in storage, the higher the storage fee will be. Um, if you are applying a discount, so uh, let's say you found this item and it had 10% uh, off. Now, of course, you can enter in that discounted price into the buy price and work it out that way. Or if you want to enter in the original price and then that discount price, you can select the discount in the discount section and it will apply the discount here. You can see that and then it will recalculate your ROI and your profit. Um, so this is the estimated ROI and profit figures for if you did sell at the sell price up here. And obviously if anything was to change, so if I change my sell price to um, 60, it's gonna reanalyze and give me different ROI and profit figures. We can see that there. Now, if we do change anything in BuyWatt Pro Island, like the storage fee slider that does apply 
to the rest of the main panel and it will give us the recalculated profit and ROI figures. It will work with that storage fee there. So you can see it's the same in the detail section and I'll work it all out for you. So the detail section is an essential piece um, of analysis information that you should always check whenever you do any deal analysis with BuyBot Pro. And of course, if you look in BuyBot Pro Island, it gives you the profit and ROI and the BSR predictor as well. So it does let you know that this item meets your BSR criteria. Um, so ultimately, the detail section, always, always, always check it out. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget you've got the tool tips here to help you as well. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.